He has been suspended and we have separated our relationship. UW Oshkosh speaking out today on a federal ricin case, saying a student allegedly involved has been temporarily suspended. The school is also expressing its thanks to authorities for their quick work on the case. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. The school is also saying that UW Oshkosh is a safe place for both staff and students. Campus leaders trying to reassure people today that there was no safety risk on the campus itself. Now, here's some of the background on the case. 21-year-old Kyle Smith appeared in federal court late yesterday afternoon. He's charged with possessing the deadly poison ricin. The FBI says a vial of white powder found inside his Oshkosh home tested positive for the toxin. Authorities were called to the home after two of Smith's college professors contacted police concerned he was making ricin. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo joins us now live from UW Oshkosh, where campus officials spoke out today. And Alex, what more did you learn about the suspect? Well, Tom, I can tell you that uh, campus officials who spoke with us today said they couldn't tell us much about Smith's history here at the school. For example, they couldn't say whether he's ever gotten into trouble with the school in the past. They say that's because of state and federal laws. However, we do now know that Kyle Smith is from Sun Prairie and that he was a senior here studying biology. Now, now that Smith has been suspended, he can no longer be on UW Oshkosh property. School leaders say they won't pursue expulsion until court proceedings are finalized. Both the new college chancellor and the vice chancellor of student affairs spoke out on the ricin case for the first time today. They told us it's unclear whether Smith ever brought the toxin to campus, but said students were never in direct danger. They said two of Smith's professors became concerned because of statements he made. Those professors brought their concerns to the campus student at risk response team, which then turned the information over to police. Their demonstration of alertness, care and concern for students and the best practices for safety and student support helped our campus and our community remain safe. Creating a safe, caring and compassionate university community and being a good UW Oshkosh neighbor is more than just an expression. Now school leaders say those two professors who reported Smith are unable to talk to the media because they're still involved in the ongoing investigation. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.